episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Diamond is Unbreakable. Josuke and Okuyas have just hit it big and won the lottery. Thanks to their brand new friend Shigechi and his incredibly helpful stand, The Harvest. However, Shigechi is a greedy little bastard and he'll do everything he can to take that money from Josuke and Okuyas. And he's going to have to learn the hard way why you don't mess with Crazy Diamond and the Hand. Shigechi is such an annoying little spiky-headed bastard. What an annoying character. Can you believe that Josuke and Okuyas put up with this guy for the span of two episodes and he almost swindled them out of all of that money? That being said, Shigechi's stand is actually more powerful than it appears. Despite the fact that it's all really tiny and it takes up the spot of like 500 individual little stands, they have a surprising amount of cool powers. Not only can they collect a lot of things, fly around, and run all over the place, but they have this other cool ability where they can actually pick up Shigechi and move him across landscapes in a really fast and really awesome fashion. I love this episode because Shigechi most of this episode is trying to run away from Josuke and Okuyas, and when he's finally put into a corner, he reveals why his stand is so powerful. But I love the fact that he is quite literally being picked up by his stand, almost as if he's a giant turkey which is being picked up by a bunch of picnic ants, as they scurry him across the ground, going up the side of a building, and then eventually being on the roof of said building, where he ends up having this big showdown with Josuke and Okuyas. I also just continue to love the use of Crazy Diamond's abilities, because it's so different from Star Platinum in the sense that, yes, it can punch the shit out of things, but I love the way that it can sort of reform and sort of bring things back to their original form. There's this great scene where they're chasing him on top of the roof, and they're standing on these two giant pipes, which get completely broken and destroyed by the Harvest Stand. But as they're falling, he's able to use Crazy Diamond to make them float all the way back up to the top as it reforms and fixes itself. It's great. But that's when Shigechi reveals another one of his crazy abilities. He's been sort of systematically attaching his harvest stand to Josuke and Okuyas' body. And in the previous episode when they were gathering up all of these lottery tickets, one of the harvest stands found a bottle of liquor. So he decided to have the harvest stand inject that liquor into their bodies, then go over to Josuke and Okuyas and put it in their bodies directly into their veins, essentially turning them into a bunch of drunken idiots. This episode made it clear that Josuke and Okuyas cannot hold their booze. They are stumbling all over the place while being attacked by the Harvest Stand, which is just fucking them up, to say the least. There's a scene where, like, a part of Josuke's eyelid is completely ripped off, and that sucks because he's not going to be able to properly heal that because as cool as Crazy Diamond is, the fact that it can heal everybody, it can't heal Josuke. So this is either going to give him a really kick-ass looking scar or he's just going to get it bandaged up and we'll never speak of this event again. However, Josuke and Okuyas do manage to get the upper hand on Shigechi. They come up with this plan where they're going to try to lure him in close and they take the lottery ticket away from him. And Josuke rips it up into a ton of pieces and throws it into the air. And this forces Shigechi to send his harvest stand after them. The problem is now that all of the harvest stand is gone, he is completely defenseless and that's when Josuke and Okuyas just wail on him and they let him know we don't want half the money anymore. We want our fair share and for some odd reason this just like clicks in Shigechi's head and he goes from being a little asshole to being a nice guy again. He decides, you know what, you're right. Without your help, I would have never found this much money. So as opposed to half, everybody's going to get one third of the cut. And they all end up getting their money. Even at the end of the episode, when they finally see the bills for the very first time, Shigechi is actually thinking about taking this money. But Josuke and Okios end up scaring him and presumably making him piss his pants, ending this week's episode on a very light-hearted note. So, what's the rundown on this week's episode of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Diamond is Unbreakable? This two-parter was just plain strange. I'm not really sure how this is all going to play into the grand scheme of things, aside from the fact that they're introducing a brand new stand user who has some brand new powers, but I'm interested to see where it's going. A lot of my commenters have told me that the character of Shigechi is going to be important. I can't wait to see how that's actually going to play in this story, however. I did like getting to see his stand powers, though, a little bit more of them in action. The fact that they can do so many interesting things. When they were attacking Okuyas this week, like, multiple times by getting up in his pants and ripping his legs to shreds, or when they ripped up Josuke's eyelid, or the fact that they can inject alcohol into people's bodies. There are a number of crazy uses for his stand, and the fact that he can be so malicious and dangerous with them is crazy, because Shigechi will go from being just sort of this, like, 
dumb, mild-mannered character, and just, like, in an instant, he'll transform into this monstrous creature. It's, it's really funny, and he's one of the more younger characters that we've seen from the series. Maybe that's why he is. He's still young. He hasn't fully developed quite yet, and this gives Josuke and Okios the perfect opportunity to outsmart him, and they do so in a really funny fashion. And that's what's really great about this episode, too. It's not like the other episodes of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and even more different from the stuff we saw in the previous seasons, like Stardust Crusaders, because Shigechi probably is going to end up being another weird, ridiculous ally. They seem to keep picking them up as Diamond is Unbreakable has been going on. I, I can't wait to go back to the whole Kira story, though. That's what I'm most interested in, and of course the Ghost Girl of Raimi. Maybe they're going to gather all of these stand users together, and they're going to try and find Kira and maybe confront him. I can't wait to see that. The, the intro makes it seem like Kira is going to be one hell of an important villain for this series, so I can't wait to see how he's going to develop as well, but... For these two parts up right here, the, all the stuff with Shigechi, it was just a fun, pleasant experience in the JoJo's world with a ridiculous character with a very inventive stand. I don't even need to speak on the technical side of things. This is still another fantastic looking series, which makes great use of color and amazing character designs, and all of the stand abilities always look really damn awesome. This is a show with a lot of style and a lot of humor, and it's not afraid to go into some dark territory either, which made this episode another fantastic episode of Diamond is Unbreakable. And I have to say though, I'm just not a big fan of Shigechi. He's a character who frankly kind of annoys me a little bit. That being said, I still enjoyed these episodes a lot, so I'm going to give this one right here a 4 out of 5. Check it out, JoJo fans! You might see something that you like. But if any of you did watch this week's episode, make sure to tell me what you thought about it in the comments section below. Did you have a favorite scene from this episode, whether it be an action scene or a funny scene? What do you think of the character of Shigechi and his stand powers? How would you use the Harvest Stand to improve your quality of life? And what do you want to see from the rest of Diamond is Unbreakable? Thank you guys for watching this review. I cannot thank you enough for that. If you would like to help support Super Kami Guru 9000, one of the best ways to do it is to simply smash that like button on this video. I want to get hundreds of likes on this video. It's the best way for people to actually see our content. Make sure to subscribe, leave comments, and share with all of your friends. Thank you guys again for watching. And as always, stay dandy, baby.